I've always been wondering what kind of childhood Kiritsuku and Mia must have had to be this cold-blooded person willing to just do whatever is necessary for the greater good. Sacrificing everything if it means saving even more seems to be his entire thing. And now we see exactly what happened. His dad just researching, you know, a dead apostles, vampire zombie shit, island outbreak. Kiritsugu was not able to kill Shirley. If he killed Shirley there, perhaps everything could have been saved. But I think this is going to be a core lesson for him to realize that, hmm, because of my inaction, because I was too scared to do things, even more people died. And then we meet this new person, right? She's like this cool mercenary for the Mages Association. She seems to sell firearms to them, right? It was also cool to see the executor show up, the different people to handle these dead apostles. It's pretty crazy, the fate world building. And now he's going off with this lady and maybe she's going to train him and teach him what it's all about to be like a professional hitman. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> oh, this must have been the origin bullet stuff, right? Because she took his ribs out to make them into the bullets. <laughs> she reminds me here. Akame got killed a boss. If she has an eye patch, bro. Basically. Pain of the Crest? Name. Hey, this is the exact scene we saw with the origin bullets. <laughs> yeah. I didn't completely understand the logic, but it kind of makes sense. Like, sever and tie back the knot. It's a bit thicker, right? And then that example then shows why if you cut, if you shoot someone with that, their magical circuits will be severed and then rebonded, but it'll be fucked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cut and tie, Kiritsugu. I see, sever bond. Mr. Code? Ooh, 66 bullets. The ultimate bullet. The mage killer. I wonder how many he's used. <laughs> Still backstory. That's the target? Natalia, Imada. My man Kiritsugu's kill. End him. Bang. We're back in time more. Yeah. Immediately when he left with Natalia here, okay. <laughs> Remember how he could do this? Well, he didn't disassemble the gun, but there was like a 0.5 second fucking before, but in the beginning, you know, everyone's a noob. That's right, she's selling weapons and shit. Yeah, how you're getting the bag. Selling to both sides. Maybe? <laughs> That's some American shit, bro. <laughs> Where you like sell weapons to like both sides that are doing war and you profit. It's just, yeah, it's the best thing, right? You just never choose a side and you supply both sides with all the fucking resources they need for the war and you just profit, bro. It's easy farm. <laughs> Hey, can we hit me, Natalia? I'm ready. I'm a man. I promise. Not yet, kid. You're too young. Yep, you're staying home. I'm a man. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. <laughs> Natalia's just like my dad. Wah! Oh, was he practicing? Oh, oh, oh. Faster, faster now. Not bad. Alimango Island, where we were at. Bang bang. 
I guess this kind of makes more sense what Kirei said in the episode one, where he's like, this man, he just was everywhere. He just shows up just in different key moments and wars and different things important. And I don't know, stuff happening. And he just is always there because Natalia is there and he's just following. Let him die, let him die, let him die. <laughs> Good call. Good call, but you know, just yeah. I was like, this isn't the type of kid to go. I know it's a young kid to go. He doesn't know just yet, right? You gotta let just let him die. You know, just, this is just gonna happen. If anything, you should have used this opportunity while they're focused on taking these guys out. We should have been taking them out. <laughs> hmm. Good question. Morning after the loss. <laughs> Well, your dad didn't cause this shit, right? You killing your dad prevented potential more apostle dead ones on Ali Mango Island. Not honestly, it doesn't really matter. It, everyone cold, but if you want deaths this, like this from happening, you need to like become the ultimate violence to like prevent anyone from killing. <laughs> Is it that simple though? Just assuming that there's just these bad people in this world and if you just get rid of them, no more people will be bad. I think that at the end of the day, it's a systematic, it's a systematic issue, right? It's not one individual, but maybe an ideology, right? It's about the society and the culture with the ideology that's built that culture that's causing this shit to happen if you're able to break that then suddenly things might actually change because if you just kill a man the idea will simply move on to someone else <laughs> he took that so serious and he said I, that's my life mission natalia's like wait wait yo stop this i didn't grow you i didn't train you for this stop what are you doing now he's gonna do it now kiritsuko's gonna do it何があろうと手段を選ばず生き残る。この家業に置きようと自分の命をまず最優先にする。で、自分が死んでしまったら元も子もないからな。True. There's a completely irrational and functioning dead apostle? No, smoking bad. Doesn't matter the legal aid, smoking bad. No, they aren't good for you. Stop it. Huh. Funny. Because the cigarette packages in North America, right? This has a bunch of yin and yang different symbols. <laughs> like in North America, a cigarette package is like a dead person. It's like, just like showing a person with cancer or all the bad shit that's going to happen to you and saying, this is what happens if you smoke this shit. Don't do it. But people still buy that shit regardless. <laughs> what a terrible influence Natalia has on Kiritsuko. <laughs> Is that the target? Remember, one of the most memeable things so far was Kiritsuko took down a fucking entire airline because of one person in there. So this is the example? Okay. Wait, why are you taking the flight? Wait, 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 why are you taking the flight? I mean, I don't see Natalia anymore in Fate Zero. In the current timeline. Ooh, this is gonna get kind of messy. There he is, there he is, Volzak. <laughs> I don't know, something about this tribe shirt reminds me of a B. I know it's not the same color scheme, but he uses B familiars, right? Is he fucking role playing right now? Is he LARPing? <laughs> The bees.
リアル聞こえるかいオッケーお互いの幸運を祈るよ Good luck Right behind them He has no idea he's being tracked Okay So get king Bang Oh Magic I don't know. Is he dead already? What the hell just happened? She like drew a circle magic shit in the back of his chair and now he's bleeding out. Okay. Kiritsugo also got his targets. All right. Looking like everything is fine. No airplane needs to be blown up. We're good. We're good, right? Happy ending. Happy ending. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Why, why, why are you saying that? Bees! The bees! Ew. Yo, how did Natalia smuggle all this shit onto the plane? Like, isn't there a super security? Like, there's no way you should be able to carry this shit onto a plane, right? I don't know how the regulations work, but... Okay, the script is sick patient, Kiritsugu ambulance. She's gonna play doctor? <laughs> Why, is she Why is she infected? When did the bees get out? What the hell? When did the bees get out? End her, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. Oh no, oh no. The bees are from within. We should have just blown up this plane without Natalia getting up there, bro. Kiritsugu should have just bazooka this plane. And it just. Yeah, I, I mean. <laughs> we need to save people. But look at this. Like, it's. it's, it's, it's we got fucked. We got. Zombie plane. Can she get out? Oh no, the pilot too, everything is going down, bro. We're so cooked, we're so cooked. Where's she planning? Where's home? Alive. Man, bro, this is looking so bad. Now we're here, we're here. Now we're up, sleep deprived. Bad. We bought something off of this guy. Some new weapon. Okay, good. What's the bad news? Okay. Okay. What's the bad news? That's good. Yeah? Just survive in there. It's scary. Can you do this, Natalia? You can do it, Kambare. <laughs> fucking, we'll figure it out. We, we just land and then uh, shoot the fucking guns. Brrr, just wipe them all out. I don't know. Yeah, he got a new weapon, right? He bought something from the street vendor there. No. 
No, stop it, bees. Stop it. Had me worried there for a second. He has nowhere to go. No, he had the will to kill. No, no. Kiritsuku just like killing his dad without a second thought was pure talent. That's the potential. Yeah, like, like he had that from the fucking beginning. He had that killer instinct. He just separated his emotions, his personal feelings for whatever with his dad. Just ended him. Maybe because he was more upset about Shirley than and, and that it's dad's fault. I don't know. But Kiritsugu, like, damn, bro. As a child, he did that. Mm -hmm. I think that it would have been kind of cool to see, like, as Kiritsugu, because, like, you can see the light in his eyes, right? The reflection. I think something that would have been cool is, like, you showed this, but then as soon as he shot it, or, like, right before he shot it, the light disappears to signify that there is no innocence there anymore. Hmm. If you're always doing what you need to do rather than thinking about what you want, you're just a machine. True. But we're supposed to be called killer machines, right? She's like a mother to him. What is this new thing he bought? Nah, that, that sucked. He could have never been a father figure. I mean, Arthur, what about Saber and Mordred, right? Mordred and Arthur, like, just anyways. That's right. I'm a mama, not a papa. Aww. And Kirisuku never seemed to have a mother. We didn't ever see her. Dude, this whole conversation is just leading into something that's gonna be so bad. Like, whole, like this, are, this pretty much is when someone's dying and they're having a last fucking conversation and getting all the fucking feelings out and just like. <sighs> it's gonna be a bad ending. <laughs> Will there be a next time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Please don't jinx it. Oh. It's Kiritsugu's fault. She got too soft. Run away with you. Start a family. I don't know. Why the fuck is he already locked and loaded? Why is he already locked and loaded, bro? What about the landing? What a what, what, I thought we're gonna fucking land this shit and then you, you, you're gonna take care of it after. Why do you have this ready, bro? We're in water! Why? Is it not possible to make her land and then save her? Is this like something she would have wanted us to do? This is a, this is an insane. You're gonna shoot her down now? Is this his own independent action? After realizing that if the airplane lands, more people would die. Last time, I didn't do anything about Shirley. So many people died. This time, I'll make sure that there's no chance for that all. Like, it, 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 like, what Natalia was saying, it sounded like it's possible that she could land it, and then maybe there's a way to rescue her and get rid and just fucking blow up the other side of the plane. But, like, are you serious? <sighs> Bro, does anyone know when this is airing? 
did this shit fucking air on Mother's Day? Like some Mushoku Tensei shit they did on Father's Day. He's about to say, at the end of the day, like he's gonna say, you really were my mother. Then he's gonna fucking pull it. Did are you serious? They aired this shit on. My, my Here we go. I've only known her for two episodes, man. Does she even know what's happening? What a fucked up childhood. What a fucked up life. Smile at least. I think that little smirk at the end. Do you think she's proud of Kiritsu go there? I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. Maybe in the back of her mind, she also knew that it was impossible. That this situation was impossible no matter what. Even if she landed, there is absolutely no fucking way that she could be. I don't know. Could she not have landed it? And then fucking shot the window or something right in front. Jumped out the plane. Kiritsuku's ready with the bazooka, but... Took down an entire airline for one target. This is the example. This time I didn't wait. This time I didn't hesitate. Kirisugu has now killed his dad and basically his mom. And this conversation with Shirley in this fucking schizo mind, right? It must have been eating up her life because before, again, it's the exact same situation. If he didn't act something worse could have happened so he's justifying in his own head this time i didn't fuck up this time i made the right choice but is this really the right choice there's also no telling how many people we could have saved we could have saved natalia there man <laughs> I think he's coping. A champion of justice? Is this really it? No, man. Part of me feels like there's like, it feels like it's co like this whole part, right? The entire point, he, he was like holding it in, holding it in, rationalizing in his own head about why everything that just happened is fine. Everything is perfectly fine. But then he breaks because obviously inside he doesn't fucking believe it. He doesn't believe it until he needs, and then he calls himself a bastard. He's calling himself that right now, right? That's the entire fucking point. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A champion of justice? Is this what a champion of justice is? <sighs> this is fucked up. <laughs> Where justice is found. Do we find justice? Maybe our own meaning of justice. Hidusugu is now. He's, dupe, he's, too, he's too deep in, man. His... His too, he's way too deep in, and this entire show is about a it's a clash of ideals and philosophies of everybody, right? And everyone is flawed in, in, in a way, no one is absolutely correct, but the more I watch this, it's just highlighting that I don't think even Kiritsuku himself believes that he's delusioning himself to believe it, right? Straight up, he doesn't believe it, but he needs to force himself or all those sacrifices won't fucking matter. It's too late. He's gone beyond. He's killed his dad. And I think that dad, that, like, that was completely justified. But this scene here, in order to prevent a situation that would have happened on Ali Mango Island again, the whole example with Shirley and Natalia, bro, this is, this is cruel. This is probably the most fucked up thing, and it really highlights Hidetsugu's madness. I think he's fucking insane, but he's rationalizing in his own head. And there definitely is some, like, truth to, like, 
there is no glory in the battlefield. It itself is hell. But this, man, I just... I just wish that he would have fucking... Like... It, unless this was truly impossible, I felt like there was hope. But he just threw that away. He just sacrificed fucking everything for his ideals. And is that worth it? If you're doing what you need to do without thinking about what you want to do, you're nothing but a machine. That's the exact conversation we'd have with Natalia today, right? Do you think he wants to do this? No. But he probably deluded himself into thinking he needs to do this. And now, he's become exactly what Natalia said, you know, a person like that would be. A cold, ruthless fucking machine. And that's the episode, man. It's sad. Just fucking super depressing. It's just probably... <laughs> More depressing than the Sakura stuff. I don't know. At least Sakura's still alive. I don't fucking know, bro. But... <laughs> it is still peak episode. It, it is still fucking peak. It's just, ugh, it's just... I knew her for two episodes and she's gone like that. It is what it is. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.